Aren't you guys a sight for sore eyes? I think I was just here two seconds ago. But uh, I wanted to talk um, a little bit more about it. I didn't want to make that last video so long. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's titled, Why Are People So Creepy? <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about winter. The reason I wanted to talk about it is because I believe if you buy your winter stuff now, it'll probably be cheaper because stuff goes up during the winter. I don't know. Probably not. You probably won't be able to get it cheaper because now, as soon as, like, it's like after school stuff. I mean, like, as soon as you get out of school and stuff like that, they are already shoving school supplies down your throat. Like, oh, get backpacks 50% off or this is the coolest backpack or whatever. As soon as kids get out of school, they're like, no, don't show the commercials yet. <laughs> so, uh, I think that'll be a good thumbnail video. No. <laughs> uh, but this bird is still here. If you guys just seen my last video, this bird is still here. I almost feel like I got to give it a crouton or something. But then I'm pretty sure there will be a billion of them. You're out of luck, bird. I'm sorry. And you look nice and fat. What about winter stuff? Um, the way I stayed warm um, last winter, it got down to like 10 degrees. It got down to 5 degrees. Um, it was pretty cold last year. And I'm in Michigan. Gives you an idea how cold it gets here. I'm not in freaking uh, California. I'm not in Nevada. I'm not in... Um, Ah, anywhere warm Michigan is cold during the winter it starts getting cold here around for December um, you're gonna be looking at temperatures around 30 degrees 40 degrees and also she just looked at me like what the hell is this guy talking about I'm just talking to a camera uh, but yeah it literally is probably around November I'm looking at like 45 50 degrees maybe December it starts getting a little bit more colder and then around uh, January we're looking at full-on snowfall and stuff it seems like it's getting later and later now here in Michigan we used to get snow in freaking November now it seems like we're getting snow after Christmas global warming anybody but anyway yeah so that's what it's been seeming like for the last couple of years now um, but the way I've been dealing, well, the way I dealt with it last year, I got a buddy heater, um, only ran it. I found out you don't need to run a buddy heater all day long. Just run it, heat up the van. It takes literally, um, maybe 15 minutes to heat up this freaking van on low. I never ran that thing on high, always on low. So my tip to you guys what i did to stay warm in freaking five degree temperatures and probably even lower um my friends didn't think i was gonna make it um i was like if it gets too cold i'm going to an hotel never had that problem so i ran a buddy heater for maybe 15 minutes hung out in the van um got in my sleeping bag i was always in a sweatshirt and um sweatpants to keep warm always in socks definitely um i found myself wearing a um like one of those I, f I think it's called a beanie or something wearing a hat on my head all the time um and you get so used to it you don't even realize you're wearing so much clothing um and it just you like you just really get used to it like at first i found it a problem like oh, i can't sleep with this freaking sweater on it's too big but uh, then it was just like, it was like, whatever, it's not even there. I used to sleep with a sweats with a sweatshirt hoodie on, with a hoodie on. Then I just bought a, uh, some sweatshirts or whatever, and I slept with those on. And it was literally like, guys, I kid you not. Make sure you got some type of insulation in your van because 
these cars and vans from factory they don't they come with little thin insulation but it's really nothing so try to put some insulation in your van um definitely get a heavy duty blackout curtain um this is a, a really this isn't a real uh blackout curtain it's a sheet it's a 400 count sheet and i just doubled it up so basically it's an 800 count sheet in my opinion i don't know maybe not but um so make sure this is blocked off because this window is going to be your um it's going to let all the heat out these windows and let all your heat out um so make sure you get a curtain seal this completely off um even this top part because heat rises so seal this top part off that's why i have this I draped this over top of here so eh, it uh, can't let any heat out and I have found great great success with this um, if this is like sealed off completely and I don't leave a lot of gaps in it the heat stays back there a lot longer I don't run that thing while I'm sleeping it's not a good idea you're in a pretty closed space you don't want to run it definitely get a uh, carbon monoxide detector um, yeah what the hell uh, I have one at first uh, it looked like all they offered was ones you can plug in I'm like I need something that I don't have to plug in just in case I lose power so I got this one here um, this one here and it works pretty good and except for when the battery goes low and all you hear is okay there's no battery in it anymore oh yeah that's right i did take the battery out <laughs> i took the battery out of this because one night um it was this summer too um this thing just started going off and i'm like what the fuck is going on and all you hear is I'm like, holy shit. I would jump up out of my sleep and have to hurry up and cut this thing off, but definitely get it. Um, on the buddy heater itself, it's going to cut off before this thing even um, detect that it's carbon monoxide in the air or if it's low oxygen, whatever. The buddy heater is going to cut off if you don't have your van properly ventilated because uh, I believe they have a sensor in them or something. I'm not really sure, but i have noticed it definitely cuts off if there's not enough oxygen in the room I be, i'm pretty sure they have a sensor on them but it cuts off if there's not enough oxygen or if it feels there's not enough oxygen way before this goes off way way before this goes off so you have to have these windows cracked a little bit you have to have them cracked i also have my um my vent cracked up top and um i turn that fan on just to circulate the air a little bit um it doesn't let all the heat escape um i kind of just crack the vent um on top and it'll just have that fan going before i couldn't control the speed now i can but i'm probably not going to be in here past december who knows mm -hmm. um so there's that uh so my tip to you guys get a nice uh blackout curtain get a um a buddy heater some you don't want to actually get an electric heater in my opinion because for one the smallest heater i could find they have like uh 250 watt heaters I'm telling you guys listen to me it's coming from experience i'm not talking about something i think is working i'm talking about something i know worked for sure I had a 200 watt heater I had a 150 watt heater it's a little like defroster for your windows I had a 1500 watt heater and okay just to put it in pers to perspective a 250 watt heater is probably this big a 1500 watt heater uh, you can get them in huge different sizes but this 1500 watt heater was only this big and on high it would smoke you out of this freaking van it got that hot i could run it all night off of my big generator i'm not going to be able to run it off this generator but running uh electric heaters off generators are not 
efficient at all. Um, the reason I say that, for one, you're gonna need a pretty big generator um, with a nice size gas tank if you want it running all night long. I had, guys, I tell you, I had, okay. So this is my third generator. I had another generator. It was a Champion uh, 1500 watt generator um, with a 10 amp uh, breaker, fuse, whatever. Um, you cannot run that a 1500 watt heater on there um, on high because it draws like 15 amps. <clears throat> so you have the wattage, but you don't have the amperage that you need. So you gotta go with a bigger generator to get more amps. <laughs> so, um, ow. So, uh, yeah, it's just not efficient. And then like, even when I would run it on low, the, it only had like a two gallon um, gas tank capacity. So it would like run out during the night. So I would be back there warm and toasty and um, not even in my sleeping bag, just chilling. And then the heater would just go off because I don't have enough gas. I didn't experience that with my last generator because it has a 500 gallon, um, 500 gallons, holy shit. And it has a five gallon capacity uh, gas tank and it ran all night even when I woke up in the morning that thing was still running like a champion but I quickly found out that's not efficient to run a heater off of a generator it's shut up sorry <laughs> it's just not worth it definitely go with a propane um, buddy heater um, they're like made for situations like this in my opinion you see everybody in vans with them that knows about them you see people with rvs with them um they're perfect for this situation just make sure it's getting oxygen just make sure you're getting oxygen and don't run it when you're uh about to sleep undercover police car <laughs> um don't run it when you're sleeping um i wouldn't suggest it even though it'll cut off you just don't want to chance it cool you only have one life so remember that um and just so you guys know and the reason i'm saying that is because i am a victim of that i actually fell asleep with it on no it didn't do anything to me but um I just wouldn't suggest it. And um, another thing, holy cow, let me see how long I'm talking to you guys. Okay. All right, it was not that long a video. You guys could stay awake for this. So, where was I? Um, blah, 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 blah. The buddy heater. I paid, um, I don't think it was like 79 bucks for the buddy heater. I'm pretty sure you could get it cheaper now if you bought it. Um, and again, it really worked out really well for my situation. That's what I was going to say. You don't need to run it for hours and hours at a time. Um, if you're like not in the van that much or you're tired, um, run that thing good enough to heat up the van and for you to maybe change clothes, whatever, and get into your sleeping bag. I now my sleeping bag is cheap i think i bought that sleeping bag for like 15 20 bucks from walmart and it's only it's rated for like 40 degrees it says it's rated for 40 degrees uh i know there are other other cheap other um sleeping bags out there that are more expensive and um will keep you warmer like the zero degrees sleeping bag i forgot if that's the actual name but um that sleeping bag and i'm pretty sure it costs a lot of money i'm not exactly sure of the price but i'm thinking about looking into a better sleeping bag this year just for the hell of it to have two sleeping bags um so what i did in combination i will run the buddy heater just for a little bit maybe 15 20 minutes at the most i'm only running those one pound propane bottles those things lasted me at least two weeks the way i was using them and you get four for 15.99 you can even even find them for 13.99 for a four pack and at first i thought i needed to run them like constantly all 
the time and I was going through them and I'm like, okay, this isn't working. I need to upgrade to a 20 pound propane bottle. No, no, you don't because you don't need to run it that much. You just need to run it enough to get comfortable and get into a sleeping bag. Once you're into a sleeping bag, your body heat is good. If it's a nice, okay sleeping bag, your body heat is gonna stay in that sleeping bag. You're gonna feel so awesome. So that's what I did. I just got into the sleeping bag all the time and I would put my, after the buddy heater was off and stuff, and I was getting ready to go to sleep and it started to get cold, I would put my blanket over my uh, face um, I can breathe fine. I don't you I don't know if you guys can but um, that's what I did I would just put my uh, blanket like over my face and if Boy, it was getting hot in there when I say hot I'm talking about hot it had to be at least it was times where it would be 15 Degrees or 10 degrees outside and I was sweating in that thing and the but it was cold in the van No lie. It was like it was still pretty cold. It was probably like um, 30 to 40 degrees at times. Well, like more in the 30s um, in the van most of the time. And um, it was freaking hot in my sleeping bag, like really hot. No lie, guys. So definitely go out and get you a sleeping bag. I'm thinking that will be cheaper now. I'm probably going to pick me up another sleeping bag um, um, maybe in a a week or two or something and uh, see if there's any deals or something going on maybe I'll pick me one off of eBay or something but this was a sleeping bag rated for 40 degrees and outside it was freaking 15 and 10 degrees and inside it was most of the time 30 and 30 between like 20 and 40 degrees I would say most of the time I can't really remember but all I remember is it was cold like it was cold enough for me to see my breath in the van um, and this was probably about like an hour of uh, the heat dissipating maybe two hours give or take but it all depends on how you have this sealed off um, because if you're just keeping the heat back there but you still got to have it vented so heat is going to get out um, but if you just like run the buddy heater and then want to close up the windows and stuff to keep the heat in, I think that'll be fine. I mean, I've done that and I'm fine. So um, I think that'll work for you guys. Uh, so definitely get a good sleeping bag, close this curtain off, get some type of heat source, preferably propane. I tried those uh, hand warmers. They work. They're not going to warm your, for me, I'm a big guy. They're not going to warm my whole body. Um, so those are ways I have tried to stay warm in the winter. I definitely, now being in the summer, I definitely like the winter more than the summer. Um, because it's you can stay cool easier. This bird is still here. You're kidding me, right? Like, you're joking. I think I'm gonna have chicken tonight, guys. <laughs>